Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I am going to continue from the day 3 of Terraform, 30 days of Terraform. Okay, so if you haven't watched day 3, I would recommend you to go ahead and watch that video first so that we can continue from the from there. Okay, so basically what we were uh, doing in the previous video was uh, we had created AWS VPC resource by using a resource block, right? So it was very straightforward. We gave some of the arguments and we were, we saw how to create a VPC using Terraform commands also. Now let us continue from there. We are trying to build a networking architecture that is required for your AWS infrastructure. Okay. So basically, so VPC only has no effect on your infrastructure so it is not going to help you anywhere right so you need subnets you need internet gateway to you know route traffic to internet right so you need private subnet you need public subnet so don't worry about the architecture so we are going to build a project at the end but this video is just to introduce you how you can reference one resource with the another resource okay for that what i have taken is i have taken one example where i will create one vpc one public subnet and one private subnet so for enabling public internet connectivity to your public subnet or the vpc we need an internet gateway so we are also going to create an internet gateway okay i'll speak about these things later but if you know the flow of creating the custom VPC, it will be really useful for you. So what I always do is if I learn about EC2 or VPC, I'm going to create a cheat sheet, something like this. What are the steps that we need to complete the execution? For example, if I learn how to create a custom VPC, so these are the different steps we have. So this is how I take notes out of myself and I'll keep it with me. So in case if I want to attend an interview or something tomorrow, I can just go over this once and this will be easy for us, right? So I would also recommend you to, you know, do the same thing. If you want to sh uh, share, if you want me to share this uh, VPC or any other cheat sheets that I have created, so comment down below uh, so that I'll I'll uh, make sure to upload it in a drive link and share it across. Okay. Now, I'll just quickly go through this one once so that it will be easy for you to understand also. So first thing what we will do when we create a custom VPC is selecting the region. In which region are you going to create the VPC? Basically, AWS provides their custom VPC, their default VPC in all the regions. So they have the fixed CIDR block for those uh, uh, VPC that they create, right? So rest of the things you will have to create that vpc will have all the components that we want for the execution right so if you see here vpc so this is the default vpc that we have and this is all the cider will always be the same okay so this uh, this has got an importance if you want to know about this cider i have made a separate video on that go ahead and watch that video okay coming back to our cheat sheet so we need to select a region, right? So we will come here, we'll select the region in which you want to create a VPC. In the same way, what you can do is in Terraform also, you can select a region. So if you know the answer where you can select the region, so drop down in the comments. So if your answer is provider.tf, you are right. So actually uh, here, whatever the thing that you mentioned here, so it will be taken or else while creating the IAM profile, if you remember, we created an IAM profile and there we provided the default region. If you provide default region, if, if you do not specify any region, your VPC or whatever the infrastructure that you create, it will be created in that particular region. Okay. So I hope that point is clear to you. Okay. Moving on to the next one, we'll create the VPC first. Okay. So yesterday in the previous video, we have seen how to create a VPC. So this is the resource block, which creates our VPC infrastructure. Okay. So if you see here, I have named that as Terraform VPC. Next thing. 
enable dns host name in the vpc that is also done if you see here the fourth line enable dns uh, host names we have set that as true by default it will be false we have set that as true now okay so these are the steps that i have written uh, you you don't have to follow this one but it will be easy for you if you go through this okay next we need to create internet gateway and we need to attach this internet gateway to our vpc okay now here is where we are beginning right so till here we had completed in the yesterday's video itself from now on we'll see how to do this one okay fourth point is to create internet gateway and fifth point is to attach to the int attach internet gateway to the vpc okay so this is the resource block for your internet gateway as you have already known so you when you want to create a new resource you need to add a resource block okay and this is the resource type aws underscore internet underscore gateway is the resource type and this is the logical name that i am giving internet gateway okay you can give any name but to understand i am just giving this one now you might ask me where did you get this block so what you if you want to know right so you can just copy this one go ahead and just type this one okay you will be redirected to your terraform registry if you see here aws internet gateway so i copied the example block here that's all i did see if you see here example usage i've just copied that one okay so i would recommend you to have a separate folder for vpc and keep these things in that so do not enter any value here just like the sh uh, cheat sheet so if you learn about terraform also add this cheat sheet in the same folder so so that when you want to create vpcs you can just come here or you can understand what are the resources that i need to create everything will be there for you always okay next let us continue here so if you see here the first argument that is vpc id we need to pass the vpc id that we are creating so now how to uh, get the vpc id of this one because we are still not creating this one but how to get the id of that one so one way is if the vpc is already present you can select that vpc copy the vpc id and paste it here but we have still not created the vpc itself but how will you get the vpc if you uh, want to know the answer for that you just have to uh, reference this take this entire block okay paste it here okay remove the quotes remove these quotes add a period in between and this one and we are we are wanting vpc id right if you want id you can just add dot id now how did you get this id right so if you see here it is clearly mentioning we want vpc id but how did i know that vpc id uh, i did add uh, id at the end but how did i know right if you remember in yesterday's class what i told is if you go to aws vpc we spoke about this one so here we spoke about argument reference and also attribute reference right here i told you a few things will be known after creating the resources if you recall it so few uh, arn id instance tenancy all these things will be known after creating the infrastructure so those things will be under attribute reference if you see here id is one of the attribute right so what you can do is after getting the vpc and at the end you can just add id now if you want arn how will you do it simple you just have to get this aws underscore vpc dot vpc dot at the end you can add arn okay that's how you do it next if you want to uh, you know uh, go with any other option for example owner id if you want to know the owner id you just have to write the same thing here aws underscore vpc dot vpc dot owner id that's all but this internet gateway is asking us to provide vpc id so i am providing id if it is asking for arn i will provide arn that's all right straightforward now i need to give a name to this one so what name should i give it can be any name uh, for example i'll just say terraform igw igw is the short form for your internet gateway i'll provide that one okay next we are going to create one public subnet right public subnet you will how will you create public subnet in here so you'll go to subnets 
you'll uh, you'll have the this is the default vpc we have some uh, subnets already and if you want to create you can just click on create subnet you will reference the vpc id first right so to create vpc uh, sorry subnet you need the vpc id if you drop down here you will have only one but that is default right now right so if i select that one and here you will specify the v uh, subnet id name subnet name for example demo i'll just type in demo and availability zone you have to pick any availability zone right us east 1a 1b 1c so for example north virginia us east 1 has got six availability zones so that is why it is displaying here whatever the availability zone you want you can select that right so that is also possible and you will provide the cider block what is the cider block for your subnet you will specify that same thing exact same thing you need to provide here also right so here if you see first thing it is asking for vpc id how will you get the vpc id see here it is asking for vpc id in the console also how will you get the vpc id so we have already done it here right so vpc underscore id i'll just copy the same snippet okay i'll paste it here that's all next is cider block so si to specify the cider block so i've already created a, a very important video before creating your vpc right so if you haven't watched this one go ahead and watch this video it will explain it will clear all your doubts regarding vpc or vnets of your azure okay so i would highly recommend you to go ahead and watch this video first okay so i'll not i'm not going to explain in detail about that one so i'll go here what you need to do is so you have specified a cider block in your vpc so the subnet cider should be within the same cider block so what i'll do is i all i have already calculated the subnet so what i'll do is i'll just copy paste this one and i'll go with one here and slash 20. i'm good with this cider block and availability zone so you if you go back to your vpc console here if you see it is asking for the name and availability zone so whichever you want you will select i'll select us east 1a okay i'll just type in the same thing us sorry it should be all small uh, small letters us east 1a that's all you have to do next thing if it is a public ip address it should be true map public ip on launch it should be true if it is a private subnet it should be false so as we are creating the public subnet i'm going to enable this one so how to do it you just have to type in true and you need to specify a name to this i'll just say terraform public okay and subnet sorry yes you the we have created the i mean we have specified the resource block for the public subnet next after creating the public subnet you will have to create a route table if you go back to your cheat sheet here next thing if you see here we have created the public subnets enable auto assign uh, ip address settings we have done that here map public uh, ip on launch that is also taken care next is to create the public route table we need to create a route table specifically for your public subnet so i'm doing the same thing here if you see here this is the resource type and this is the name that i am giving logical name that i am giving here also it is asking me for the vpc id i know how to get the vpc id i'll just copy that same thing and i'll paste it here next route cider block with a gateway id so if you go back to your uh, you know vpc and subnets if it is a public subnet what you will have is i'll just show you in the console once if you go to route table if you see here we are enabling the route from 0.0.0.0, .0 to the internet gateway right so this is what we have to do in the terraform also so this is the cider we want i'll copy this one go here paste it in the cider in the double quotes and gateway id we are creating a new internet gateway here right this is the internet gateway that we are creating how to get the get, uh, internet gateway id just copy it come here paste it remove the double quotes add a period and at the end it is asking for id 
specify dot id that is all you have to do and this will also support you here okay so this is all you have to do and tags you can give a tag name here i'll just say terraform i'll just say public rt rt means route table you can give any name okay so we have completed the you know the reference or the resource block for your public route table next after creating the route table you need to associate that route table with a public subnet right if you go back to the cheat sheet if you see here add public route it is done next associate the public subnets with a public route table all the public subnets that you create should have should associate should be associated with the public subnet that you create only then you will be able to communicate with via internet gateway right so we need to specify the subnets id so what is the subnet id here so if you go back if you see here this is the subnet i'll copy this one i'll just reference this in here okay i'll specify here and i'll remove the double quotes add a period and it is asking for id i'll just add dot id right it should be small cases i'll just add id that's all and it is asking for the route table id so which route table id will specify if you remember we created a route table i'll just copy that i'll just reference that here okay i'll remove the double quotes and it is asking for id here i'll just mention id dot id small case right that is done next all these things are done what is the next thing that you have to create so next if you want you can create a private subnet it is left to you right so we'll stop it here we'll create the private subnet and we'll stop right there from the nat gateway creation we will take it from uh, in the uh, day four all right so th that re needs uh, some more concepts so uh, let us also go through variables and uh, referencing variables concepts also so later on we can continue for that one okay first let us create the private subnet here it is asking for vpc id so i'll get the vpc id from here i'll just copy that so if you see uh, how easy it is to work with terraform right and it is asking for the cider block so i'll just say 10.0.2.0 slash 20 right next availability zone i'll go with us east one itself us hyphen east hyphen 1a next map public ip on launch no it should not be right so because we don't want this to have public ip address so i'm specifying false and what is the tag name that you want to give i just say terraform private subnet right so this is all you have to do to create your uh, your uh, vpc along with your internet gateway public subnet public route table associate public route table and the private subnet and the next thing that you want to do is you know create a nat gateway in the public subnet and associate an eip with it and create a private route table add public route to your private uh, route table associated with the nat gateway and then associate private subnet with a private route table so this is all you have to do when you create a custom vpc right so those things we have done it here but this is a simple high level overview on how you can reference these things reference one resource in another so that uh, if you want to work with subnets and all what you can do is you can you need vpc id so you can reference that like this right i hope you understood uh, this concept now uh, let us go ahead and save this file okay i'll just say save all and i'll open a new terminal click on terminal new terminal i'll just expand this one i'm inside this folder but i need to be in first resource i'll just say cd and i'll get inside that first resource i'll clear the screen Next, I will go ahead and deploy the Terraform. For that, first I need to initialize the Terraform. I'll just say Terraform init. If you see here, it is initializing the backend. But before that, let's see if we have the VPCs created already. 
right if you see here uh, we only have one vpc that is the default vpc and this is the ipv4 cider okay now let's come back here if you see here terraform has been initialized okay now let me clear the screen and i'll type in terraform plan if you do not know these commands uh, i've uh, spoken about this in the previous video you go ahead and watch that video okay i'll just hit enter this is going to give you the blueprint of whatever the infrastructure that you are creating and it will also create a tf state file terraform state file we will be talking about the state files in the you know coming videos but uh, right now just understand that we we have something called as terraform state files okay now if you see here it is uh, uh, it is giving you an error saying that it is not a valid cider right so uh, the reason is whatever the cider that i have specified is uh, wrong right so what you can do is you can just go ahead and change that right away if you see here we have error here in this line and uh, 21 line and we also have error in this particular line okay so i'll go ahead and make that changes right away okay i'll go back here first let me see what is the cider that we have here okay so this is the cider i'll come back here and this is where we have the uh, you know uh, effect so or the error so i'll just read out the error if you see here 10.0.1.0 slash 20 is not a valid ipv4 cider block did you mean this cider okay so what i'll do is i'll just say 10.0. Um, yeah 1.0 slash 24 okay so i'll add this one instead of 20 i'm going with slash 24 i'll also change it here okay now let me save it once again and let me clear the screen uh, you got to know how it will throw an error right so it will specify the number line number also so that you can go ahead and check what is the issue there okay now let me run the same terraform plan and let us see if we are getting the same error again so if you run the terraform plan itself it will show you an error if there is any sort of error that you can change it right if you see here right now before i was getting an error now it is resolved uh, that was because of the cider issue i changed it but right now if you see these are all the different things that is it is going to create if you see here plan says six to add a zero to change and zero to destroy it is creating six resources let us go back to our tf state fi tf uh, file if you see here this is one resource okay this is second resource third one fourth one fifth one and finally the sixth one right so we are creating the six resource now that that makes clear right so now if you want you can you know go ahead and create that resource so how to create resource you can just type in terraform apply and hit enter so this is going to apply the resource in your aws account okay if you see here it is asking for the confirmation i'll just say yes and after typing yes you can hit enter it will right away go ahead and start creating your resources if you see here aws vpc is getting created it will take some time If you observe here, the AWS VPC creation complete after 26 seconds. It just took 26 seconds to create your VPCs, right? So if you see here, apply complete. All the six resources has been created. Let us go back to our AWS console and this is our VPC console. I'll just refresh this one. If you see here, we have one more VPC created that is called as Terraform VPC and this is the cider that we gave 
right and let us also verify subnets let's go to subnets here if you see here we have two subnets that we created a rest of them it belongs to the default VPC okay terraform private subnet and terraform public subnet this is the subnet cider that we gave right also we created a route tables let us come here and if you see we have public route table I'll just click on that let's see the routes if you see here we have the routes that we added these two will be added uh, by default that means the route is enabled within that VPC okay now we are communicating to internet using internet gateway if you remember we also created internet gateway let us go here this is the internet gateway that we created right so this is how you create the entire VPC the custom VPC using your uh, terraform scripts okay this is just an eye level overview but the entire architecture and the project that we are going to build so I will tell you tomorrow so that uh, you will have the curiosity also okay so that's it for today's video if you are liking the content that I'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends so that it can reach maximum people thank you and I will see you in the next one